What's up guys, this is Grandma Mayo here and I'm bringing you a video today for Sony Vegas on how to remove black backgrounds and I wanted to make this a little simplistic because I've searched everywhere and it took like three hours to figure it out because everybody kept making crappy tutorials about it so I figured this will be the best tutorial because it's going to be quick and easy and right to the point and um, most people might not know what I'm talking about when I say remove black background but when I made this thing right here in Sony Vegas as you can see, I'll give you a preview of it. This lower third. Well, this would, when I saved it down as a regular YouTube video after I made it, it would, sh whenever I brought it back into another thing, another video, like this gameplay video, it would, it would all have a black background and it would be, all the gameplay video would be underneath it. And I tried going over to here and I couldn't use any of this to mess with it. Like it would just screw it all up. I couldn't do anything with it. So what I had to do was, is I had to actually go in the uh, file where I made this thing, this lower third, and I had to render it as a um, QuickTime file. So that's right down here, and you wanna go to File Render As, and make sure it's just this thing right here, the lower third, wherever you're gonna make. Make sure there's no gameplay underneath it. And go to QuickTime 7, drop it down, select this one right here, click customize template and this is where you're gonna to want to mess with the little settings here and I'm gonna show you what to set so when you make videos on YouTube you're gonna use 720p 1080p etc so you're using one of those two and I'm sure you probably know which one they are so this is where you're gonna go down here and you're gonna click high definition and you're gonna select one of these two right here I use 720p so that's what I'm picking your frame rate you're you're either using 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second I use 60, so I set mine down to 59.940. If you're using 30, you're going to set this one right here. So I'm setting mine right there. Field order, I don't mess with that. Pixel aspect ratio, I don't mess with that. Video format, you want to set that to animation. Compressed depth, you want to set that down to 32. And you're going to render that out. And once that's done rendering, you're going to go to file. I'll actually show you how to do this right now. That way you can understand what's going on. Um. Uh, what did I bring in this one right here because this one was already done it might take a minute to load it up but whatever so there's my gameplay footage right there and I'll actually just splice it so you guys can just get that stuff right there real quick and here's my thing that I saved my lower third after I rendered it out and all that stuff for the QuickTime format I'll bring that in and let's get to the beginning of the clip and when you bring it in you're gonna be like oh man it's black again it didn't fucking work you're gonna get all pissed off but that's cool because it did work but what you need to do is you need to do one more thing I need you to click on this this uh, file part or whatever the layer I want you to click on the layer and right click click properties go to media and go down to alpha channel and click straight unmatted and voila look at that it works and that should be all you have to do for any of that so I hope this video worked for you guys and if it didn't let me know I'll try to help you guys out and make sure you like subscribe comment and share and yeah I'll catch you guys later so enjoy the video and I'll see you guys later